So once you once you gained a lot of experience and lost all of your money, <laughs> did you did, did your family did you just decide to to get a job just to get some income or was it like no. all or nothing? I'm just going to live on water oh, on cereal. And- I love that question. Thank you so much. Uh, well, my family didn't know. I didn't I didn't have the the, the balls to to tell them. <laughs> so yeah. I had to make do. Um, so what happened was I became a waiter. Um, the reason why I became a waiter was because I think. When you empty out your bank account, you kind of have no more money to eat. Um, and I didn't want my parents to know, right? So I became a waiter. And you know, on, on, on average, I, I think in Singapore, cash flow doesn't come so fast, right? Like you, you, you get paid at the end of the month, mm-hmm. but I still have to eat for that month. So becoming a waiter allows me to, you know, get the, the free food uh, from the restaurant itself. So that's mm-hmm. that's kind of what I did uh, just to get by, just to get by for that uh, one or two months, right? Um, then, yeah. And that was in the middle of uh, studying yeah, in school. Oh, so studying, being away, and then you started your next startup soon after that. Yeah. No, yeah. so, I mean, yeah, well. that to me is kind of like what uh, the your entrepreneurial journey should kind of be like, because I think making mistakes early on gives you the gives you the strength to kind of carry on and that's how successful entrepreneurs are, are born because if you, if, you, if you may have a modest success at the start, right, you kind of don't know what failure is like. And if you don't know what failure is like, you can't deal with it when yep. bigger failure comes your way. 